Hey there, in this video I'm going to convince you, try to convince you at least, that making your life appear easy, even uncomfortably easy, is the path to fulfilling your full potential. Stay with me. So I've got a great question here from James. And James, in his question, writes, I can't convince myself that massive amounts of action are not absolutely necessary for me to be a success in my career and my life. So he writes, I'm stuck. On one hand, this belief that he needs to take all this action overwhelms and demoralizes me. And on the other hand, I believe that it's the only path forward. Catch-22, help. That's James' question. So this video is really about the uncomfortably easy solution to procrastination. Now, the path forward with this is, okay, there's that belief it's there and you just can't convince yourself that maybe small, consistent steps are going to actually lead anywhere uh, that you want to be. They're not going to work. So the path forward with this is not to try to convince yourself that what I'm advocating for in my approach to procrastination and productivity, which is small, consistent, doable, easy, uncomfortably easy steps, works. What you're gonna try and do is just look back at the approach you've been taking. And as you mentioned in your question there, James, you say, this belief overwhelms and demoralizes me. So anything, any kind of uh, philosophy of personal productivity or an outlook that you have that demoralizes and overwhelms you. There's all the proof we need. It just doesn't work, this thing of really high demands of yourself. Now, what we're ultimately trying to do here, as you may know from other videos I've made, being productive, just doing the things in life that you would like to do and you know, expressing yourself and being successful in your life, doing all those things, it's not about motivation. It's about relaxing your nervous system so that it is cooperative and will move with you through you reaching those goals. So which belief relaxes you more? Would you prefer to believe that it's very hard to achieve success or it's very easy? It's even uncomfortably easy to achieve this. Which of those brings up overwhelm and dread and which of those seems a lot easier to you? Which one would you prefer to believe? Again, it's what relaxes you. Which of those two beliefs relaxes you? It's relaxing your nervous system, therefore making it cooperative. What we're looking for here is cooperation towards our goals, not motivation to sort of push myself forward in them. Motivation is massively uh, overstated in terms of its importance in goal attainment. So the thing is, okay, you can't accept this belief that it's going to be this easy and huge amounts of work are going to be necessary. The problem is, and the reason, James, you're probably struggling with that, like so many of us do, is that we cannot perceive the impact of easy, achievable, consistent action over time. We're terrible at perceiving it. An analogy I use sometimes is uh, compound interest in finance. So. Compound interest is, you know, you put your money in the bank, maybe a small amount of money, and every year you get some interest on that just for keeping it there in savings. And now next year you go in with a slightly bigger amount. I'm explaining compound interest here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but you've got a little bit more money, and now you're making compound interest on that larger amount. So year on year, it's sort of, you're getting more savings. Now it's not big every year, but over time, Ask any financial advisor, they'll tell you compound interest is a very, very important thing and very uh, powerful. It's the same with our own approach to our, our goals and what we want. It's like these, the tendency is for us to be very dismissive of tiny efforts that we make. Well, it won't make a difference. It won't make a difference. I need to do huge amounts of work. So therefore, there's no point in doing the easy thing. But what if doing the easy thing over time is the very thing that's going to lead you there? What if goal attainment must be uncomfortably easy? 
Again, why? Because it relaxes us, that philosophy, that outlook. It's, so much of this is about the, the way we are framing our to-do lists and our, and our goals. It's the self-talk, it's the philosophy that we, we bring to it. So I would suggest having a goal of don't be Mr. Productivity anymore. Be Mr. Consistent, but consistent in, in, in steps that are so easy, it's almost laughable. It almost makes you uncomfortable that it's so easy. And I promise you, James, if you can do that, your nervous system will relax. You'll have a persistent or a regular sense of growth or moving in the right direction. Maybe not in huge leaps and bounds every time. But there will always be some sense of moving forward. Now that does, I call it psychological momentum. Where you start showing up regularly to do these little things, these little achievable things. Occasionally you do more if you feel drawn to do more. But your philosophy is, I'm really just dedicated to taking easy, doable, achievable steps. And the rest takes care of itself. Again, the nervous system relaxes when that's how we talk to it. If we make it promise to make these Herculean efforts and expend all this energy in these goals, it's going to get defensive, it's going to get overwhelmed, and um, maybe even demoralized. The demoralizing thing is a defense mechanism because it doesn't want you to expend the energy in it, so it, it's a way for it, it, it suppresses your impulse to move into that action. So I would suggest setting up a system to approach the, the goals you have maybe in your career, as you mentioned, where you can set up consistent, small, doable daily actions. And just sit back and watch them. Here's a change, watch them actually get done. The other thing is because we're doing it, we're under promising and over delivering, there's no more guilt cycle. The guilt isn't there, oh, I, feel, I fell short again today. I didn't do all that huge stuff I was supposed to do. There's no more guilt. And the guilt is another reason why we get demoralized because we keep making these massive promises, over-promising and under-delivering. We wanna under-promise and over-deliver. It's a much healthier for us. So, so James, I hope that's useful with you. Um, really, okay, it's a, it's a belief that you have here that you just, you have to do so much work. Not your fault, self-help, personal development. That's what it's been like for the last 15, 20 years, maybe longer. Do more, do more, push yourself, get motivated. You need more motivation to do more, do more, do more. That's not how the nervous system works. The nervous system is about conserving energy to guarantee your safety. So if we can convince it that I'm not really all about expending huge amounts of, amounts of energy on things that are very, very difficult all the time, it's, what if it's easy and doable? What if this is a marathon and not a sprint? I promise you, James, that that will actually help you do more and again, the, the guilt will go out of it and everything else, and you get a sense of psychological momentum starting to build in your life. So sit into the uncomfortable feeling that what if this is easy? And challenge yourself to make it easy, to set really achievable goals that you know you can consistently meet, and just sit back and watch how you feel and watch how your life changes, because it will. So guys, I hope that's useful. and. Um, James, I hope that's useful to you also. And uh, as always, thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye for now.